Aquarius, how are you doing? Welcome to your weekly reading here on the Astro Flower Game from the 15th to the 21st of April. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, yes, this is that month when the spiritual awakening is happening. We've seen it in all the weekly readings uh, this week. Uh, I think the sun is going to be uh, increasing its prana energy that's going to be hitting the earth and obviously hitting me and you. Um, that started an uptick a few days ago. You can see all of that information about energy uh, on Cymatic TV, our sister channel linked in the description below. And that seems to be affecting the readings. That's the reason I'm saying it. So uh, keeping an eye out of your elements will be very important. You can do that on Cymatic TV. Uh, yes, let's get on with you and see what's happening for your week uh, this week here. So overall energies here. Karmic message for your relationship side, karmic message for your financial side, uh, influence on the universe, influence on the past self, future self, and general outcome. I hope you have a lovely reading, Aquarius. Thank you very much for being here. Let's just see what's going on for you. Devil, everybody's had the, everybody's had the devil. You are the exception here at the moment, uh, Aquarius, because the devil has always been coming out on the relationship side, on literally everybody on the relationship side. But this time here, it's come out on your overall energy. And um, what the spiritual awakening on a personal level seems to be that we're recognizing the people that are, could be around us that, you know, I don't want to say are toxic, but, you know, I think it's, it, maybe it's here, it's because it's the overall energy here. I think you're recognizing the energies or the, yeah, the vibrations that are, that are not good for you. Um, and you might be able to see that in people, in situations, uh, in the world, in the physical world, in lots of things that are around you, but also at the same time, and the devil card seems to be playing this role at the moment, is distracting you. So the overall energy is here, and the way you've set yourself up over the past year, year and a half, uh, Aquarius, um, it seems like that the overall energy is kind of like, it's, it seems to be testing you here. And that's what the devil card seems to be on most people. A, a little bit of testing of people to see whether you get distracted or you remain on your pathway. On your karmic path and your relationship side, you get the Knight of Pentacles. Getting on and planting those seeds, that's why I don't think you should get distracted. Within your relationships here, I think you're bedding in a situation or you should be trying to bed in a situation which um, with family, friends, community. It's not just on one person here. It's on a multitude of things. It's like you're growing your future success or growing your future harmony with the people that are around you. And planting these seeds, doing these little things here and there will cultivate in the future a, a beautiful, harmonious place because you're creating it. And I think you need to be implied in that creation judgment everybody's been getting judgment as well that's the other thing judgment nine of swords as well which has been out for a lot of people but anyway judgment uh this is what the universe is uh influencing you i think this is where you're sort of doing that you're planting those seeds and the universe is giving you a heads up on what to plant so it's almost with um if you take into account the um uh in the in the coincidences that are around you um i think you'll realize quite quickly which seeds you need to plant at which time and it's it's just almost it's like painting by numbers or doing a dot to dot it's very it seems to be very logical suits will suit you down to the ground actually uh just about doing things in a very logical way going from one thing to another planting as you go basically creating things yeah look at that You've accumulated a lot of possibilities. Um, and it's like the fruit has been ready for you to welcome those seeds which you are planting on your karmic path. Because, you know, what you, what you reap is what you sow. And that, this is, this is, you know, this is for you totally. You have a control over this scenario here. And where you've set up in the past, it's going to make things very obvious and evident about what you have at your disposition that you can invest in in the way of relationships. And it may be as simple as sort of like 
going for a cup of tea around someone's house that you haven't seen for ages or you know just connecting with people and, and laying the foundations of a harmonious future for you more than anything else queen of pentacles no king of pentacles sorry i thought as much in your future self because you've planting these seeds this is what you're setting up okay this is what you should be setting up okay you're planting these seeds which obviously you've been accumulating in the past in the nine of nine of pentacles a lot of pentacles here obviously it's only anything but pentacles at the moment um because you're planting the seeds and it's and you reap what you sow you know what you planted in your future this builds a, a, a certain degree of confidence a certain you know you're carrying this aura not of authority in a way but of someone you, you know it will help you to carry this sort of um sort of aura of of knowing of knowing where you're going and and it helps you to sit in a very powerful place in regards to everybody else it's almost as if you're like you're creating a scenario where you are the reference uh for a lot of people that are around you really nice five of ones that's also come up with a lot of people it's got to be said a lot of people uh, a lot of signs does this create a fight out of the end of it? I don't think so. It's not one getting anyway. I'm getting more of a sort of degree here that you're learning by the end of the week, just by doing the simple things and doing it, you know, planting the simple seeds of, of happiness within your life. I think by the end of the week, you'll avoid all internal conflict and you would have learned about not fighting against the overall energy that is around you but just picking the path that is good for you and good for the people that are around you and being the best example of yourself for some of you it may well be a fact that you've got this judgment card and the universe is sort of like sort of giving you the calling in regards to your relationship side and you may have to sort of defend or fight for that way of doing. And I, it's almost as if like, and this is where the devil card comes into it as well. And it may be a case that and this is for a lot of people. And I think it's a general recognition. Recognition, is that a word? Recognition. <laughs> That's more it. Uh, recognition that there is some people around you, like everybody, that they don't want your happiness, you know, and that it's not that they, they, you know, they, they try and do you wrong, but they stop you from going forward. And I think you're moving out of that chaotic, uh, chaotic and conflictual sort of way of being and going into something where you are planting the seeds of the better example of yourself. And once you start doing that, you really have a certain control or, um yeah control over what's going on around you on your financial side you got the fall it's the beginning of a journey here uh for you it is a leap of faith what i'm getting is that let's say like um you've got a you've got a part-time job yeah so you you're working part-time you know you're not making huge amounts of money or you might be making huge amounts of money, whatever it is, you know, it's covering your costs. There's no worries. And, you know, there's another avenue of life that you'd like to investigate. And that seems to have been coming up in your cars for some time. And it's now a case of, case of um, having to take a leap of faith to invest in something. And that could be your time rather than money uh, and energy and stuff like that, rather than actually, you know, giving up loads of jobs and just jumping into a new career. It could well be the case for some of you. But this leap of faith, I think it's more of a test for yourself more than anything else. Yeah, there is a definite direction that the universe is asking you to take. The Queen of Swords, she's looking off in one way. She's not looking, um, it's not like the King of Swords who looks straight ahead of him. So he's following through his wisdom the natural pathway. She 
has um, come to terms with a lot of emotional stuff and she's choosing a pathway. But I think that's what ties in with the um, with the um, with the full cards and that leap of faith. It is where you are choosing and the universe is encouraging you to do that. And you'll be able to see that through coincidences. So you may like, overhear something in a in a coffee shop about an idea that you were thinking of doing as a sideline. And it gives you that information then to clarify the direction that you should be taking. And then you get the Queen of Wands, nothing but Queens on this side by the looks of things. You get the Queen of Wands as well. You've been very passionate and investing in a lot of different areas in your life. I think that's actually coming to an end. I think it's more that you've now started to streamline things and you're starting to recognize what part of the journey you should be going down. And the universe is encouraging you to take a direction of your choosing. And once you start doing that, that's when you can channel all that magical uh, energy that comes from the vibrant, passionate um, fire of the, of the Queen of Wands. So you can actually sort of like focus it on one particular direction that you should be going in. Yeah, there is a thing. There is a there is a thing about this is where it's almost as if like and this could be this spiritual awakening as well that's happening because uh, it seems to be happening much more in the material world than it is in the spiritual world, which is bizarre. But it could be down to money, finances, and so forth. But this leap of faith here, I think this leap of faith is also tied into because it's not. It doesn't seem like it's like um, a necessity. It's something that you want to do. Um, and this leap of faith here is going to be driven by your happiness because that's your future self. That's what's calling you forward. And that future self with that happiness that is within you, um, yeah, it's, um, it's going to make you feel a lot more sort of vibrant. And I think it's also going to feed into this confidence that you'll have on your relationship side as well. Because it, it appears to be working on all levels for you. The most soundest of readings of all the signs at the moment. Absolutely amazing. What's the general outcome of this leap of faith of you taking a direction, playing smart? I think it puts you a cut above the rest. Um, because you're heading off and, and exploring this other angle in life. You're, um, what you're doing is... It's like you can foresee the future, that there's going to be difficult times in the future, so you're making hay while the sun shines. That's the sort of intelligence that's doing there. Um, so you're avoiding, um, you're avoiding complications um, going forward simply because you have provided for your future in your past. That's the sort of intelligence that seems to be coming out of this. And it's the one thing you've got to be wary of is that being diverted off your pathway. That's the one thing, that's the main thing you really need to be a little bit conscious about more than anything else. Uh, let's just see what's going on with the Lightseers card, shall we? <laughs> sun comes out again. That's twice the sun's come out. And the sun comes out with the devil here. The devil can use sometimes your own happiness to divert you from your pathway. Let's just say you've got to do something. Let's say you've got to do something in your work and everything like that. And then someone turns up to you and sort of says, hey, you know what I mean? I was going to go, going to go down the beach. They've got a surf tournament on now. I'm just going to pop down the beach, have a quick sort of, um, you know, we can skivvy you off a couple of hours in order to go and see this surf tournament. And yeah, it'd be fun. It'd be great, but you do you need to get that work done? And if it's the case, if you, if you do need to get that work done, you have to be wary of that. That's what, um, that's the sort of thing that, that sort of comes out of this. The flip side of it as well is that in order to avoid being diverted off your path or distracted, know that sunshine that is within you. And I would drive for that. And that will give you that sort of, um, focal point for you to go down uh, in your life so you don't get distracted from it and also you just you know you leave the people around that are a bit conflictual that are trying to hold you back in life 
just leave them in your dust as you go forward in your pathway. Yeah, look at this. Planting your seeds in the future will avoid all sort of conflict, basically. And that's what we saw with the five of wands at the top. This is on your karmic path. Um, so planting your seeds wisely, and I think it's within combination with the coincidences that are around you, uh, which is coming from the universe, the coincidences are around you will keep you ultimately with the people that you respect and that they respect you. And I think that's going to make you feel a lot more fulfilled. Page of Pentacles, look at that, Page of Pentacles, the universe is helping you to learn about that. Learn about your calling in regards to your relationships. It could be about your spiritual path as well. Um, because the page is learning to be the knight, and that's where you've got the knight. And the knight is all about protecting the king and the queen, and you've got the king at the top there. So this is a big learning curve about how you create your future here. And I don't think there's much experimentation. I think you know already, and it's almost it's like it's time to put into practice your noble side uh, within you, in regards to the relationships that are around you. Yeah, I think you've got very in tune with yourself, actually, uh, Aquarius, over the past year, year and a half. Certainly, if you've been watching the Astro Flower, you would have understood that, you know, setting, setting things up before things happen and making sure that life is really good for you is really important. It helps you to take a certain control over your own destiny. And that's what you seem to be doing here. You have um, a lot of possibilities in the past to get into alignment, into a, into a combination with other people in regards to the Two of Cups. And it could be people that are completely opposite to you. But sometimes the opposites do attract because they provide everything that you haven't got and you provide everything they haven't got. Um, and I think it's like you've done a lot of that connecting with people and now you're sort of kind of saying, okay, let's see which ones work. Let's see which of those seeds are really working for me. You know, and um, it's not being horrible to anyone. It's just sort of kind of you know, working it all out. And what sits right with you, basically, more than anything else. Um, hmm. There is a choice. There is choices to be made through that wisdom. This is your future self that's calling you out. Through this process of planting the seeds and creating your own happiness, in the future, with that knowledge, it will create decisions that you need to take. And some of these decisions might be a little bit difficult, simply because you might recognize in someone that you know, you may even well love as a family member or a friend or even as a partner. But you can just see now that with your knowledge and understanding of how you work and how the world works around you, and it's not then, you know, they, 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 they don't want you to progress. So that's the sort of feeling I'm getting out of it. Hmm. The ultimate seed to plant is you, being the best example of yourself, taking yourself out. And I think this is what this choice is all about. In the end of the week, you'll recognize the good seeds that are worth nurturing. And you're going to recognize the relationships which just create problems for you within your life without even bringing in any of the benefits. So you're leaving this old paradigm behind you and going on to something absolutely beautiful because you are planting it. You are creating it, Aquarius. And I think it works really well for you. Look at that, King of Cups. King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. There's some beautiful stuff. You've got the Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands on that side as well. You've pretty much got all the elements really kicking your way. I think this leap of faith, as I said, I don't think it's a worry. That's the thing. I think this new adventure that you need to, you should be doing uh, within the financial world, within your business, your material world, is a, is a, is, it does, it's not, it's not dangerous and it doesn't actually Put, it doesn't put you, your family, your friends, your your community, whatever. It doesn't put you in any danger. This, you know, you might lose time and effort trying to do something, and if it doesn't work, that's all you've lost. 
And even if you have lost a bit of money in it, it's not going to be l losing enough money to you. You lose your house and everything like that. It's going to be very, very, um, there's only really to win out of this scenario uh, more than anything else. Okay, let's see what the direction, this direction, she's pointing inwards, the queen, when I look at her on the flower, she's pointing inwards. So you're obviously choosing a direction that's going to profit you, your family and your close people that are, that are close around you uh, and put you in a very good position. Yeah, it's all about building your inner strengths here. You know, uh, that inner strength that you're building um, is a pathway that you know that you should be going down. Funny thing is, is that we got the five of swords down at the bottom here on your relationships with the five of wands at the top and on this side you've got the seven of wands at the bottom and the five of swords at the top uh seven of swords at the top it's a revelation for you within the um within the financial world and i think this is where you actually start playing to your strengths and that's where the spiritual revolution or, or awakening is happening and it seems like you going after this, you know, this leap of faith and following that pathway is all part and parcel of it. With the Queen of Wands, you get the Eight of Swords. I think you were doing a lot of stuff in the past, trying out a lot of different things in order to set yourself free financially. Um, just to, to also, Maybe for some of you, it may be you were trying things out because you were bored of the job you were doing and you wanted to change. That's been the past. It seems to have happened and it's, you seem to be in a much, much better place where you can take, I wouldn't say take risks, but it's, you're into a stage now where you can actually, um, you can afford to explore. You've got that space to explore and I think it should be driven by your happiness. What makes you happy and what makes you contented? With the sun, you get the Knight of Wands going on a mission, a very passionate mission for you here, uh, Aquarius. A lot of socializing, but networking socializing. It's not, um, it's not just, it's not just socializing like on a on a on a on a personal level. It's really down to sort of like, you know, financial sort of. Um, socializing in a way and the more you get happy about this leap of faith of doing something of developing a sideline the easier it's going to be for you to network and connect with people that are around you and i think it's going to be very good for you actually aquarius incredibly good for you let's just see uh, what's going on with that seven of swords You get the three of wands. As I said, preempting for the future with that seven of wands, seven of swords. And you, um, in order to do that, you, there is a certain degree of observation of what's going on. I think as you start this leap of faith, I think you need to um, observe how it's panning out. So don't, I wouldn't, this is all part of the intelligence as well. Do not react too quickly do not uh allow yourself get carried away so you you know don't get yourself sort of um lost in the whole sort of uh, excitement of doing a new project uh, in the way that you're making snap decisions here i think you need to take your time in developing this whole sort of leap of faith more than anything else because i think it's going to be something that's that's going to be with you for a long time this could be a complete career change or something like that or a new business or a new project whatever it is it's something that you're developing because you enjoy doing it it brings you happiness and it also pays your bills and pays you you know your finances it seems like you're doing it you're you're approaching it in a very ordained or orderly orderly sort of way that's very um you know that's very at ease with what you're doing and it's going to drive, it should be driven by that happiness within you, doing it. There you go, Aquarius. Thank you very much for being here. Don't forget about all the stuff we do over on Cymatic TV, the channel all about energy. It'll be about my head in a minute. Um, yes, it'd be lovely to see you here or to see you 
uh, over at Cymatic TV. Whichever way it is, it'd be beautiful to see you again. I hope you get the best out of these readings. That's all for me left to say is life should be fun, so please do enjoy.